Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing extremely well. So we recently did a video looking at the effect of drag by adding external stores to your aircraft and whether we could simulate or whether DCS simulates asymmetric drag i.e. by putting stores on just one wing and not the other. The answer is yes it does quite, quite um, noticeably. And so the follow-up questions have been of course from you guys because you like bang bang just like me. Does it simulate asymmetric thrust, which is a really easy one, and most of you know that anyway. But more importantly, does it simulate asymmetric recoil? Now, that's kind of weird and something you would never actually, you know, use outside of testing. But, you know, we're trying to test DCS to breaking point as ever, so let's go and do it. First of all, thrust. We'll jump in an F-14 because the more powerful the engines are and the further up part they are the more noticeable your moment of your we're going to get if we have asymmetric thrust so let's jump in our tomcat okay fly so all i'm gonna do is shut down uh righty here if i can get him Pion. engine two is now cut off so we've only got engine one i've never actually tried this before so this is the reason, I believe, why the F-14B is not supposed to take on off an afterburner because its engines are so powerful that with an asymmetric thrust like this, it's going to um, we're not going to have the ability to override the asymmetric thrust with the rudders, and we'll probably go into a spin. Now, because we're lightly loaded and lightly fueled, I probably will be able to counteract the thrust, but we'll just see how it goes, and you'll see what controls I'm having to put in here just to go straight. And there's no wind on or anything like that, so it's a, you know, it's a good test. So, off we go. Let's have a look at those burners. Pyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
here will do. So I've just got to try and remember how to use these. Just a second. Um, what is it? It's uh, seven. There it is, gun pods. Right. So I'm just going to sort myself out in terms of trim and whatnot. So we're nice and neutral. Just about neutral there. So all I'm going to do is hands off the stick now. And for some reason, there you can see the stick down the bottom. And I'm going to pull the trigger. And you can see it shifted me left there some degrees. Um, so that's already kind of proved what we need to prove, really. I could probably turn the whole plane round just by using the guns. Uh, one thing I noticed is it only lets me do short bursts, which is a bit annoying. It must have uh, uh, heat protection for the barrels. And you can also see here, now, annoyingly, let me just level out again. Annoyingly, we're already having to fly a full uh, slip gauge, your gauge, here. Uh, just to because of the aerodynamic asymmetric aerodynamic drag of those pods so what we so annoyingly we can't see it there but look at the turn gauge the turn gauge here just by pressing the um fire button but look at it it's turning me completely look i'm just the stick is completely neutral and i'm out of ammo and that's turned me uh, about i don't know 20 or 30 degrees to the left so I'll have no effect on anyone out there, but it was just an interesting to see, you know, where have they bothered programming for asymmetric recoil forces? And the answer is yes. Okay, uh, I can't think of anything else to delve into further in terms of testing these types of forces on aircraft, but I hope that was interesting anyway, and we'll see you later.